That's two years after the 2020 election and weeks away from early voting. And election offices are still dealing with a lot of public record requests from election deniers, those who do not believe that President Biden is the president. So election offices are dealing with that and also having to make sure they have enough poll workers for when you head to the polls. Early voting for the midterm election starts October 24th. While election offices are focused on trying to recruit more poll workers, they are also still dealing with 2020 election deniers. This has been a huge problem for us um, dealing with the forensic audit, these five lawsuits that we're in, and uh, this avalanche of public information requests that's just really pulling us away from our, our core um, task. Tuesday, Dallas County Election Administrator Michael Scarpello gave an update to county leaders. The county has seen an increase in public records requests by people who still believe the lie that the presidential election was stolen. The county is now hiring someone to deal with those requests. Could you not go hire about the next 30 some days? Esmeralda Garcia, a longtime employee, has been leading that 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 So is uh, that who is responsible? Is currently the person who's responsible. Neighboring counties are dealing with similar issues. Tarrant County is hiring someone to deal with record requests. And it's an option that Collin County elections officials are exploring. There's another problem affecting election offices statewide. About 30% of the state's election workforce have left their jobs since 2020. The Texas Secretary of State's office says there are multiple factors for the decline, including fatigue from lack of public trust, and threats. The need is around 3,000 for poll workers. As of this point, we have 1565 confirmed. Dallas County still needs about half its poll workers, but Scarpello says that's about average for this time of year. And it's also attracting more younger people. A big part of what we're, what we're keeping in our pocket, a big um, is a supplement is our student poll workers. And so we're doing really well with students this year. So Hyder Garcia, who is the Tarrant County Elections Administrator, and Bruce Sherbet in Collin County, they both say that they're okay when it comes to poll worker numbers. Also from the State Secretary of State's office, they tell me that they think that there won't be as many issues with the new mail-in ballot requirements. Remember that new law that passed? This will be the third election since that law, so they're hoping that there won't be any drama this year.